Hi friends! This year we're going to be learning about all of the letters in the alphabet and we're going to learn what they look like, their names, and the sounds they make. And in order to learn these letters, you're going to meet some really fun animal letter friends that are going to help us to learn them. And today I want to introduce you to the first one. And that is this. Does anyone know what animal this is? That's right, it's an alligator. And this alligator's name is Allie. Her name is Allie Alligator. Can you say, hi, Allie Alligator? Good job. Now, Allie Alligator is in the shape of a letter. Can you tell what letter that is that she is in the shape of? She is in the shape of the letter A. Good job. She's in the shape of a little letter A, the lowercase a. And Allie Alligator is going to help us learn our letter A. And Allie Alligator, because she is an alligator, she's got really big jaws that open and close just like this. And when she does that, she makes the sound, ah, ah, ah. <gasps> That's what Allie Alligator says. Can you say that too? Ah, ah, ah. Good job. Allie Alligator says, ah, ah, ah. Nice work. So the letter A also makes the same sound. The letter A says, ah, ah, ah. Thanks, Allie, for helping us learn that. So we're going to talk about how to write the letter A. And Allie Alligator is in the shape of a lowercase a. So we're going to start with that first. I'm going to set this down. And to make a lowercase a, you're going to start with a circle shape. So I'm going to make a little circle. Just like that. And then down the back of the circle, I'm going to make a little line straight down. And that is our lowercase a. Now to make a capital A or a big A, it's a little trickier. We're going to start up high and we're going to make a diagonal line. And I'm going to show you and explain. So that is a diagonal line. You can see that it's not a straight line not going straight up and down. It's slanted. So that's what a diagonal line is, a slanted line. So we're going to make another diagonal line, but it's going to go the other way. So we're going to start back up here at the top, and I'm going to slant it down just like that. All right, so now you can see it's starting to look a little bit like a shape. Do you see that it might look like a shape? What shape do you think? That's right, it almost looks like a triangle. So if it starts to look like a triangle, you know you're making your A correctly. But instead of making it into a triangle, we're going to take our pen and put it right in the middle here and draw a little line across to connect it. And that is our capital letter A. So we're going to practice writing our A's with our fingers. Did you know you could write with your finger? That's right. You can write in the air with your finger. So we're going to take our magic fingers and we're going to point them up high and we're going to start with this capital A. So we're going to do a big diagonal line down, go back up to the top, do another big diagonal line down, and then to the middle, a little line across to connect. Nice job. Now we're going to do the same thing with the lowercase a. So we're going to put our little fingers out here. And we're going to draw a little circle in the air and then a little straight line down the back. Great job. So remember that Alley Alligator makes the sound. Do it with me. Ah, ah, ah. So I'm trying to think of some words that might make that sound in the very beginning of that word. Hmm. Can you think of any words that make that sound? Ooh, I thought of one. How about apple? Let's see. Ah, ah, apple. Do 
Do you hear that sound at the very beginning of the word? Good job. Me too. Let's try another one. Mmm, banana. Banana. Does that make the ah sound at the beginning of the word? No, it doesn't. I was trying to trick you. Let's try another one. How about astronaut? <gasps> Do you hear Allie Alligator sound? Astronaut. That's right. Astronaut stops with the letter A as well. So I want you to think, hmm, what words can you think of that start with that ah sound in the beginning? And maybe you can talk to your families and see if you can think of some more words that start with the letter A. And I also challenge you, we're going to talk about the letter A all week this week. And as you are reading with your families, I want you to look and see if you can find maybe an uppercase or a lowercase a hiding somewhere on the pages of your book, or maybe even in your house somewhere. Be on the hunt, and I can't wait to see what you find. Have fun with the letter A. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.